Hey there, Big Ten Hoops fans. It's BTN analyst John Crispin here, and it is the second rendition, second week, of power rankings, uh, many of which always seem to get people fired up, and I understand why, but the truth is, from week to week, things change so much, and this week being case in point. I look at my top three in Michigan, Michigan State, and Ohio State. They, they all seem to be like a systematic machine. They understand who they are. They play their game. And I feel like they're always going to be at the top of, of the Big Ten rankings, particularly Michigan and Michigan State, with Ohio State having some vulnerability. The middle of the pack is where things really get crazy. And that's when I, I look at Indiana. Indiana moved up quite a few spots, even after a loss. I just think the ceiling's incredibly high for this team, particularly considering the fact they're playing without five scholarship players and Rob Finnessy's one of them. He, he He's a key to their approach in terms of how they get into their offense, how they execute, but also defensively really setting the tone. So you look down the list, two other teams that jump out to me that that I think need to be mentioned is Maryland and Minnesota. Maryland is playing really good basketball. Sticks and Fernando are just terrific. And in Minnesota, they've got like a quiet 12-2 record. We talk about Jordan Murphy, but really I think Amir Coffey is the key to their success. If Amir Coffey can continue to do what he does but also lead from the point guard position, Minnesota's going to continue to climb in the national rankings. As for the rest of the conference, I think we'll be defined by the middle of the pack, and right now the middle of the pack is incredibly strong.